Hey, and welcome to another video in the Lunar Academy Playable series. Today we're going to cover the initial setup for the Lunar Playable plugin in your project, and also give you a quick overview of the UI. Now that Lunar Playable is installed into your project, it's time to get stuck in. Open the Lunar Playable UI by accessing the Tools menu in Unity. This is the Lunar window. You've got a number of different sections here that help you navigate, optimize, and set up your project. The first section, Basic Settings, is where you'll select the scene or scenes that you want to include in your playable. Lunar UI will display a list of all scenes currently configured in Unity's Build Settings window. This is necessary for Lunar to be able to discover the list of scenes and also to be able to gather the assets and scripts used by those scenes. Next up in this screen is where you'll define how Lunar handles your assets when exporting. By default, with everything selected, all assets will be included during the export and therefore will become part of your playable file. This is fine if you have a standalone project, but of course, if you are building your playable scene as part of the full game, you want to be careful here. By choosing selected items such as scenes and resources, you'll reduce the number of assets being exported, but again, you want to verify that everything you need is included when using these options. Luna tried to determine which assets are a reference in your scene, but it's very possible to miss prefabs or dynamically loaded assets. The best solution is to use this setting along with the force include and exclude feature located in the assets section. Here you can manually add or remove assets. And that's it, you completed the initial setup. Your scene is ready to be exported. In the next video, we'll export the project and see how it looks. Thanks for watching and see you next time.